Today, there is a new front in the battle of unions versus Starbucks. This one could lead all the way potentially to the boardroom. Kate Rogers joins us now with more on that. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. CNBC has viewed a copy of an investor presentation from the Strategic Organizing Center, a coalition of unions accusing the company's board of implementing, quote, one of the most glaring and destructive examples of human capital mismanagement in modern U.S. history in response to the union movement. The coalition is pushing to replace three members of the Starbucks board, claiming it's diminished shareholder returns and isolated customers. The SOC commissioned a Nielsen poll of recent Starbucks customers, two-thirds responding they'd be less likely to visit Starbucks if the company broke federal labor law. This compares to 54 percent who said they would be less likely to visit the stores in the face of price increases. The presentation says the company has underperformed its peers down 6 percent versus median gains of 10.6 percent uh, for a cohort, including Chipotle and McDonald's, inclu uh, including uh, those names since unionization efforts began through November 2023 when the SOC launched its campaign. Now, using a different peer cohort and time frame, Starbucks argued in its presentation filed on Friday that it outperforms a broader peer group, which includes Domino's, Restaurant Brands International, Wendy's and others by five percentage points over the last three years. Since the company announced its reinvention in May 2022, the stock is up 32 percent, it says, outpacing both its peer group and the S&P. It also invested nine billion dollars in partners over the last three years. The company adding in a statement, quote, Starbucks board is stocked with world class business leaders that bring the qualifications and expertise directly relevant to drive our current operations and future success. So we will certainly be watching this one, Andrew. Back over to you. Um, thank you for that. In the meantime, how large a stake do we know uh, does the SOC group actually have? It's quite small, Andrew. So it's 162 shares, so just over about $15,000. But the SOC says it has unions who have millions of members with hundreds of billions of dollars invested uh, in pension plans with substantial Starbucks holdings. So they have the right to put this forth, and we'll see what investors say.